Divisional Night. And we'll start things off and take a look at where we sit coming into the playoff round. And here's Ends the off final take a look into the at where we sit Kevin coming Martin, into the playoff round. Glenn Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final take a look into the line where we sit Kevin coming Martin, into the playoff the round. Martin. And Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff where we sit coming into the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off just recently a rematch of the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the And here's off final just recently in the playoff round. And there's your matchup. Jim Cotter Howard all out of the A of the well, just a little less than that for Cooey, who qualified last night. We'll get things ready to go. Redstones for sure, Team Cooey. Yellow for Glenn Howard. Looks like just a final preparations to get things going here in this one. I'll take the... Uh... Well, as we uh, wait for our game to begin here, our feature quarterfinal, Howard and Cooey. Over on sheet two, Kevin Martin, two-time champion, winner last year. So the defending champ trying to def go back to back. He takes on Steve Petrick out of the seaside right next to them. We're on sheet three, Howard Cooey. We've set the stage there. Well, Mike McEwen going against Jim Cotter on sheet four. And they're already underway in that one. Mike McEwen coming out of the A event, trying to win back-to-back -back events. And Rob Schlender, Randy Furby. They are in their draw to the button, still in their practice of that game there. Both B qualifiers, so they will draw to the button to determine last rock over on sheet five. We'll try our best to keep you up to date with everything going on here. And it looks like we are set to begin. Nolan Thiessen, the lead for Team Cooey, will start things off. <laughs> so Glenn Howard just three games played they won all three beating John Rennie 8-2 Brent Pierce 4-3 and then Kevin Cooey 6-4 in their qualifier Cooey bounced nice. back just one more game than that as it was Changmin Kim a win, 8-7. Then Jamie King, 8-1. Lost the qualifier to this Glenn Howard team. Hard. And then a win over Ru Liu. 6-4 to qualify, that being Kevin Cooey. Looking for the corner guard, Craig Saville. Good. So corner guard out in front and expect lots of rocks in play early, lots of aggressive play. Until some team straight strikes big, gets a lead. Well, in behind that center line guard, right to the side of the four foot. See lots of curl broom out in the 12 foot to get to the button. To go there. And room to get at this one for Craig Need Saville. Need more ice. Oh, and a little different uh, change for Wayne Madon now, sweeping on a regular heavy, basis heavy, as opposed heavy. to uh, calling the game and not having to sweep nearly as much. Wow. 
Just heavy. Yeah. Well, you hear the comment, can't get past that outside one. And we'll end up chipping off the guard, tapping that Cooey stone in an early break for Cooey. Yeah, that's better, yeah. They don't want to really bounce off too far. They're hoping to corner it, take away the run back, and facing two. See that pretty quickly from Brent Lang at the second spot. Just a pair off nose. Right on the nose, running back, get them all moving. Spills that one out into the eight foot. As that one sits down, rolls back eight foot, opens it up. Doesn't quite get them all moving, but spills it out from behind the center line as it sits there to lie one here in this first end of play. Go, keep going, keep going. I'll try and keep that one going so they can close in the rings. Forces the run back again. It's good well, enough to same. get in behind. Same way. So Brent Lang try and go straight back. He can stick it, be close to shot. Just about made that raise double on his first. Whoa. So trying to play to the inside, Pat the Simmons play that hit and roll, get under the center, try and roll it right top four foot. Trying to get to the inside, avoid the jam. We'll touch that back yellow, and it'll spin it to the back part of the rings, and Howard's able to sweep it out. So it doesn't make the roll, loses the back one. All in all, not the best result, but it does get partially tucked. Trying to make nice throw. Nice close throw, to nose. They don't get any inside, obviously, because 
was basically edge to edge. Top 12 foot, first end of play. A few guards, one stone out in front. Getting it a hair high, rolls a bit away, opens up some room uh, for the chance to roll underneath for Wayne Madaw. Same. A little wide. In. Close. Whoa. Close. Whoa. Close. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard. Whoa. Yep. 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 Well, yep. get by, try and make the roll. Boy, Sit right in behind will be top 12 foot. Makes the roll and forces Kevin to play the run back. Or he can ignore it, come right around. Be an aggressive call early in this game. Just a short run back, that's the thing. Short run back of an opponent rock or you go to the top of the four foot. Can he split? Yeah, I guess we could draw, eh? Pretty easy to get buried here, Kevin. Well, I thought initially it would be the run back called and just top part of the rings. Even if you play that run, you're going to leave the draw for Glenn. So skip stones, Kevin's going to go right after it, try and get in behind. The two is my practice one, right? Give me that. Give me that. Sorry, yeah, yeah, you're the two. Like that ice? You like a hair more. Pat! Eighty-five? Eighty? Seven! Room! Room! Wait only! Whoa, then! Wait only! Well, they don't want to go too deep. They want to get it buried. The top part of the rings. And that one goes back, button, back four. Now look at that one warp. Almost goes behind the other one. Does the job. Now forces Glenn, but he can go top button. And still leave himself room to draw for a second one. As long as he bites in his shot stone, that's the important part for Howard and his first of skip stones. I think we'll give me one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, whoa then, whoa, it's all here, whoa, lots of room. Wait only, no, wait only. Well, this one hanging out there for Glenn, and it won't make his move to late. He'll come down deep. Just well, couldn't sweep it at all. Takes that late. Almost sideways finish at the end. It's probably good, eh? I, think so. I mean, now draw right on top. The same yeah, I don't think you want to go Even a little tap to lie two isn't the end of the world, but ideally just sit on top of it, get in there so it's tough to get in for shot rock. Exact same throw. He's behind the tee, you don't have to move it, so. 75 that was? Yeah, 
clean it. Room. Whoa, guys, clean up. Whoa, whoa. Gotta wait. Off for light off. Whoa, guys, got a curl. Well, they want to try and come down. Yep. It will come right down, sit whoa. on that stone back of the button. And they'll tap it just a little bit. Will lie one. It just really well, took its time to try and make that move. The question, how do you score? Is there an angle? Yeah, see if we can get wide enough with our shot to see that guard out in front. And the angle it has, there is. It just misses. So what they want is uh, yeah, way up here. Three. Have you ever is that perfect? redstone they yeah. want to try and run right in. See if they can go right into the pocket and get those two ye yellows out. Be real tough because they have to sneak by the front. That's what all they have to look at. Because draw tap doesn't do anything. Can actually do you harm with that intern. I like it. What is it, like a... Uh, three quarters. Well, nothing like starting the first end of Circus. Last shot coming up for Glenn Howard. Going to the wide angle raise. Let's see. This. See if it could swing the game right early on. A chance for a steal for Cooey. He's got one locked in there. Glenn asks, how do I score? Wayne says, you play the angle raise. And here will be the effort. Yep, yep, yep. Glenn Howard. Yep. Angle hard. raise trying to slash it hard. in. Got to hold it, run it in, and will pick out the back one, and it will still give up a steal of one. So Cooey on the board first, strikes first, as here's a look how close. They had to hold it out there a bit more, as it'll clip the back yellow. They're trying to get the one in the button. Don't do that. And it is a single point for Cooey. As we'll get set for the second end here of quarterfinal play. Get a chance to look around and Kevin Martin strikes with a deuce in the first against Steve Petrick playing his third straight game. So we'll see if fatigue's a factor as well for Martin. 2 nothing over there. We're on sheet three. And then over on sheet four, Mike McEwen, Jim Cotter. Will be a tight fought battle. one nothing. McEwen on top for the recently crowned one nothing or number one team in the world, Mike McEwen taking on Jim Cotter and no score yet. Schlender and Furby over on sheet five. How the boy Nolan? Think of that one rock, Wayne. That guy should have curled. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right up the broom. Okay. Kevin, mine's pretty good. Well, I heard that information. Just right up the broom. Just didn't ice it properly. Going to that wide spot, a spot you aren't normally throwing. Can curl, it can curl if you can. Oh, oh. oh. Not in, not in. Oh boy. Right. Not to move the guard. Hard line. Lots of rotation on that. I don't know if it had something under it when Craig was Hard. throwing it that he gave it a bit one. more Hard. rotation to try and get there. Hard. Whoa. It's heavy. Yep, 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 yep. Well, just gets Great. by Great. the Great. guard, Great. and that one, it'll come down, tap Beautiful. that one back. 
He heard great recovery by Wayne Madon. Maybe that's the reason they end up just sneaking by. Room, room. Clean. Yep. Yep. Hard line. Hard. Hard, guys, right up. Right up. Right up, right up, right up. Well, they can't get by. Ends up chipping off it, the front. It was close. Yeah. Let him go through that. Dead even. See that? Well, with that one coming up short, and a great shot by Craig Saville, his second. More so because of the recovery on his release. Whoa. Had to give it an extra rotation. Thought yep. something was under it. Whoa. Yep. Hard. <laughs> hard, hard, hard. Well, we'll end up Shot. double peeling those guards. Leaves the shooter out in front of their own. Shot stone, Glenn Howard, a 1-0 Cooey lead. Glenn Howard, a two-time champion of this event. Kevin Martin won the first year. Glenn Howard, the second and third. Kevin Martin, last year. Well then, room. Well. Off. Oh, oh, Kev. Oh, 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 oh. Well, ends up bouncing off just a hair. Is that stone still buried? And shot rock. You can just jam, let it jam. Nothing really good goes in here. the top make okay. that double Good throw Brent unable throw, to hold Brent. the shooter as it rolls out now Let's straighten up on just leaves that one stone behind cover see if they can freeze to it like this well here's the out see how they play it with Pat at the third position the freeze called earlier in the end here, playing the straight back. Trying to cross it here. Whoa. Well, right over will clip it and push it just a hair again. What do you think? Pushes it back four foot still. Howard like line one. A, trying to what utilize a Glenn what throw is. Like, you figure it's that fast? What do you want to do with this? Whoa, whoa. Uh, oh boy. Oh, that helps. Yep. 
Yeah, it's scary, isn't it? What do you have? Well, they've had a couple of picks there. You see that one. Hey, you Kevin say that'll here. help. Picks slows it down in behind. They lie too. You like board? That wasn't doing a lot, but. To it, it's a do a hit and roll now. over to the side, sits back, 12 foot. Oh, okay. Plus, yeah, over oh, So again, sure. a chance to draw behind that for Wayne big. Madaw. Asking if that one did pick. And they'll try and keep this one clean. A little tight. Gotta go. Gotta go. try and hold it. Now they want to make sure they're higher than the other one because if it digs in and goes deep, leaves a chance at the double. Fuck off. And in that reaction, you know they don't like it. Chance to play that double here for Kevin Cooey, his bread and butter. Just figuring out what turn he wants to throw. Make the double and get out of this without giving up two. Give me that. Make this double. Give me the six. So first and a miss by Glenn with one of his, and this time it's Wayne Madaw with a miss, and a chance at the double. See if Cooey can take advantage as he did in the first, which set up a steal. Double and sit there behind cover. So the double is made. As here's another look. They'll end up getting one, get the second, and will sit there. Able to make the double sit, and that's key because of that other stone in the back of the 12 foot to lie yeah. one two. Right up, Cooey right. comes up with another key shot. So far, Cooey's made the shots when needed. Leading one nothing in this game. T line. Line's good. T. T line. Just T line. Just T line. Just T. Whoa, whoa, needs a curl, needs a curl, it looks heavy. While trying looks to heavy. use that stone, looks you can heavy. freeze to looks it. Looks heavy, looks heavy. Shot, Glenn. Well, little bounce, able to use it. Try and see if Kui can make what a miss. Got? Come down, play the tap, or just freeze on top of it. Oh, right. You have to be perfect because of the angle. There. I think you gotta have a look and see, but I don't mind that. If I you could do enough. this, I mean. Yeah. Which one looks easier? Hard or soft? Hard. Hard. I kind of agree. Well, that's what they're looking at. And ask the question, what looks easier, hard or soft? Hard throw and peel, try and go over the top with it. Hammer it out or try and sneak it by the guard and tap it through and hold the shooter. Stealing the first. Look to see if they can peel that one out. We'll lose the shooter. Probably lose their back yellow in behind it. And Glenn will have the opportunity to blank the end, keep hammer into the third. Whoa! Clean! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Well, gotta try and blast it out. They'll nose it with big weight. 
Didn't think they could you see that throw. much. They'll end up nosing it. No blank there. You throw a board or? Yeah. Right there. For yeah. a like single that? point. That ice cake. And here, look how easily it goes off that back one. They'll get to the nose with Peel and say goodbye to that red rock. Turn hit, trailing Clean. one nothing after yep. the first. Yep. Well, just a light clean there. Howard makes it look easy. The nose hit, but only one. Cooey will take the hammer for the first time to the third, and it'll be one one. Cooey Howard quarterfinal play in the Cactus Pheasant Classic. All four quarterfinals in play right now, and we saw showed you a two early for Martin. Uh, looks like they just finished up the second. We'll get a score once we have the opportunity. As it look next to them is our game. While well, over on sheet four, 1-1. One, one. McEwen Cotter, expect a little bit low scoring early. We'll try and dictate play late. See who has control in six, sort of in that one. I expect that one to come right down to the wire. Well, Rob Schlender gets a deuce against Team Furby. And it was David Nedwin last night after they... Qualified for the B, B event. Was not feeling well. Able to tough it out. Win that one in a game they didn't play very well against Carl DeConnick Smith. We'll see if that's a factor as well in that game. 2 0. Schlender early in that game over on sheet five. First donut. You got coming. a good one? He doesn't like your rocks. Right. So give him one of yours. Okay. Whatever one you think is better. <laughs> yeah, I know. I hear them talking rocks already. We'll hear lots of that throughout the playoff round. That really is fast, that's lots. Yep. Brent, they both seem to curl. Yeah, oh, whatever, sure. Ready? Ready? Too late. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, no, it's plenty tight. Good shot, Nolan. Line's good. Yeah. <laughs> Line's well, good. Quick update was a blank for Line's real metric good. and Martin, we'll so room. no score there. It remains a lot of room nothing now. in favor of Kevin Martin in that quarterfinal. Hard. 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 Oh boy, Shot, Savvy. Well, right in behind this, the first end, Kevin Cooey will have the hammer. By the intern freeze, Nolan Thiessen and right into it, the type of game everyone expected between these two top teams in the world. Both teams former world champions. Yep! Yep, yep! Whoa! Seven! Whoa! Yep! Hard! Yep, yep! Well, just it, sneaks it, by, it, now it, trying it, to come it, down, it, play a little tap if they can, get it behind the T-line. Very nice. Thiessen able to push that one back. So 
So that's the situation in the rings through lead stones. Both leads did their job. Got the corner and got that center line guard in the come around by Craig Saville. The tap by Nolan Thiessen. different than yours. No. Line only. Line only. Line only. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. Well, trying to come down, sit on the corner. It just bounces off a little bit. That'll be good. Side and very nice little tap, little roll. They'll get that redstone right out. and look at that one as they're able to run that one back able to get both of them out well the raise double was made let's hear Brent Lang makes an absolute pistol able to get them out of a little bit of trouble those rocks were set up nicely for Cooey a raise double and that's the shot you'll see with these teams, they'll be able to bail themselves out, get behind the eight ball, make that type of shot, and all of a sudden the end changes in favor of whoa. their side. Good way. Yep. Whoa, whoa, off. Off. Yep, yep. Yes, 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 yes. Well, trying to make the double and just jams it, rolls it over to the side. Still shot rock for Howard, back part of that rings. is Howard flying too. You can try and come down to that back one, roll behind. You can play the straight draw. You can try and just blast. Yeah, you might get everything. It might be a blank, which isn't bad, right? Might be better. Yeah. I don't disagree. Yeah. Yeah. the double peel off that one top part of the rings that'll open up the four foot area and sometimes when things just not setting up side, let's just open one. it up yeah no you got yep. two in there even if they draw there you can draw to the back one 
Maybe get a little mistake. But won't see many mistakes from these two teams tonight. Seen a couple minor ones in the first couple ends. Wayne Madaw been here at this Wayne. event before too. Lots of was the finalist in the first Lines ever good. Cactus Pheasant Rim. Classic, losing that Flip. final to Kevin Martin. Get it by. Well, well, it's a little tight. Oh, it's backing up, backing up, backing up. Easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good shot, Wayne. Well, in behind. Ah. Lie two. Can see part of it. Could try and roll yeah, it over, could so, freeze yeah. to the back. Could be normal on a route to the close, eh? I think the intern freeze. Curl, try and get right yep. to it. Shot, Pat. And they'll put it right on the face with a hair of a tap. Ain't going anywhere. A little nope. bit of separation. You nose it? You gotta nose it. How do I know the high board? Whatever we know the ice for. Uh, I'm thinking it's the same as probably going the other way. Right? You're board? Yeah, as well. As as you got the whole thing? Try no board support. Same as I threw the, the last hand. Trying to go after that one, get to the nose. They end up jamming on the front and wrecking okay. off the guard. So Shotstone, Glenn Howard, some uncharacteristic misses okay. in this one early. Not an easy shot, but you expect him to be right there. Yeah, that's the I mean, anyway, coming right? over here, that's really the only way to get it from a double. Yeah. Just if the line is not good, we got to keep it. A bit on this side, eh? I had you vote right there. I'm gonna throw my. Yeah, we can't over curl. Yeah, this I'm gonna throw straight. my straighter rock. Okay. So, I think for me, I could get away with a hair more. And yeah. I mean, right here is okay, right? Yep. Do you want to try this though? Like, well, I'm just. I don't think you want to be quite too. If no. you make it too good, he's just gonna nose it, right? So, like, hey. right there, like, hey. just in front of the teeth. Yeah, that should be lots. I'll throw this other one. Theirs look like they're sliding pretty good. Like, is it a little quicker? You want to be, you want to be just in front of the tee. So is it the same as that first end out there? And those were what, 80s, 75? Go then. Line's really good. Just tee line. Line's good. T line. Hart, hold it. No, line's good. Right. Whoa. Over curling. Over curling. While well, they're trying to freeze it or put it right yeah. in front, they don't want to leave a chance to blast it. And there he gives them a bit of angle to try and slash into it for Glenn to get rid of it. 
Right? You got to a pilot, though, don't you? It ain't, go, it ain't going anywhere. What no. are we trying to do? Well, you, right? I think if you ever just, like, let's say you cross it and just ticked it, yeah. it might go. But, right? Yep. You're trying to hit, you're trying to hit and roll there with peel. Okay? Go a little, shooter go a little bit. Um. Well, quickly cut over here. This Mike McEwen's final stone, and he's facing two in the forefoot right next to him, a 1-1 game. As this one, try and get right down into the forefoot to get his single point. So come right down, needs to get into the forefoot. And this one actually was lying one, and it'll come down chip off it and he will be very close I think it's just a single point it was Glenn Howard was only able to get rid of one on his double attempt meaning a draw for two so last rock now for Trying to draw in, same thing he just threw. Chance to get a deuce and a 3-1 lead in this game. Be a great start considering down 4-2 in their A qualifier. Gave up two deuces and only got singles against Glenn. No bathroom yet. Clean it. Okay, clean it, clean it. Good now. Clean it. Well, this one they can come down to their own. And it'll be good. There's the two for Kevin Cooey. And the Alberta rank leads 3-1 through three ends of play here in quarterfinal Saturday. The last draw of the day on Saturday before the semi and the final tomorrow. 3-1 the score here. As we take a look around, Petra gets on the board, but after a steal, it was a steal in the second, not a blank, pardon me, that I saw so... It is 3-1. They play the fourth end over on sheet two. We're on sheet three. We'll skip right past it. As we slide over, showed you it was a single point only by McEwen. Had a chance for an extra one. I thought it was thrown against a couple, but it was a single only for McEwen. And Furby blanked the second. They play the third. and well, A couple stones in play here. And skip stones. Schlender looking to draw in, try and cut it down. We'll give you a score once we get an update over there as well. Those are the four quarterfinals, as you see that one bounce off. Might be a chance to get a deuce for Team Furby. We'll give you a report following that one over on Sheet 5. Our game, 3-1. Cooey gets the deuce. And now Glenn Howard has to go to work, try and get his deuce right back. Well, just a, a report on that one, uh, what was thought to be a blank in Martin Petrick, and it was a biter that Petrick didn't think was in, so they played for the blank, and it ended up being a steal. Took a measure to have that one in. So first two go in for Team Cooey in this fourth end.
Well, this the tap back of that stone pushes it right out. Leaves it half tucked behind that like stone this. top 12 foot. This. Just tack. Real hard. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Well, trying to roll, let it grow. Go, go back go, 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 onto go, go. the red. Have enough punch that one back just a bit. And it'll leave that shot stone top eight foot. Front end for Kui playing quite well. Able to set things up. As Carter Rycroft plays the Hat. double raise. Yeah, fucking the hack way hit rolls real good. Hack. Yeah. yeah. We're worried about the jam, and that's what happens. Need to keep it across the face. Kui getting numerous half shots and little mistakes from their opponent so far in this game. Kui coming off a final loss in Portugal Prairie last weekend, trying to build into the Grand Slam next weekend in Sault Ste. Marie on a winning note here. What are you liking here? A tough quarterfinal start for both these sides. Like just, just here. Whoa, 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 off. Right off. Never, never, never. Never, ever, ever. Well, they hit, but just a bit up weight from Rycroft. As that one rolls over to the side, we'll hang around edge of the 12 foot. Lots of room still to go. What's that? Right here. I think so. Blast it out, we go. Leave it high, it's a guard. Leave it high, it's a guard. I just, I haven't seen this Glen Howard team have you the struggles the way it is and are just not getting the result. You see them conferring back and forth what they're doing. Just three games so far. An interesting format with the three qualifiers. It's different because you play three games, you qualify out of A, and then you're right into the quarters. Other ones, you've got to win at least four games and Three go pretty quick to get into the quarterfinals. So a little roll inside would be nice for Simmons. Clean. Yep. Yep. 
Whoa. Clean it. Clean it. Whoa, whoa. Yep, yep. Hard. Well, little roll, and whoa, they're going to roll whoa. big. They're going to roll behind the corner. Again, opening up that stone back. Four foot. Fun doesn't necessarily want to freeze to it with the hammer in the end. Try and draw right in behind. Try and go top four foot. Knows it. Make that double. What does he do? Like, are we trying to score? Are we trying to get two? We may be better than knows it. Knows it. But if, I, if, he, if, he's, if he goes around, if he goes around, he's asking for trouble. Like, yeah? Okay, well, that's what we want him to do, though. Or you go here. It's not yet easy to get there, is it? No. I think we run it. Yeah. Yeah? Right in the nose, Wayne. If you ever hit it, you might now. Yeah, I mean, might. He knows it. Out, out, try. Try and op open it up now. They're getting, they're getting an awful lot of rocks in there. <laughs> trying to run this one back and they'll jam it just on the wrong side of that one we'll end up running it right back onto the own their yellow leaf Kui line three hmm. uh. Lying three, has to decide which way to go. I think it. that's best. Leads 3 1 in the game. Like here. You like it? Shot. Well, interesting. They go, they peel that guard. They don't want to give any chance for Glenn to hook something around. They respect the ability of his team to get something buried. Glenn will try and eliminate some stones. See if he can roll in behind. Maybe get a rollout and a chance to make the double Ray. potentially for a blank. Gotta go. Wayne not wasting any time at that third position. Whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Well, try and make one double. Oh and boy. there it is, makes one double, and all of a sudden, potential for yep. a blank may be available, but it's also a lot simpler of an end now without that guard. Good That's that big weight okay. like shot that. by Wayne yep. Madaw. He hits, rolls over. Now Kevin's got a hit and roll over with this one. Keep them separated. Make a double for Glenn. Lengthy. Force him to go for it. Here in this... Fourth end of play, quarterfinal action. Yeah, I was thinking like good hack. Does that look like enough ice? to get separation so that the double is steep and a tough angle. Somehow. Yep. Position so you can hit and roll in front, you can hit and roll behind. Fucking Langer's interns close. Yeah. Really? Oh, no way. You can't no, get no. oh. Langer just threw it. I think so. Is this weird Langer? Where did Langer I, I throw it? I threw him right there. Yeah? Okay. Lay your hair more. Okay. 
Ask Langer how he threw it. The speed was, it might have been a hair slower, but... It... Did you throw, uh, was that the seven you threw that way? The draw? Curl, so this should really over curl, I don't think. No, okay. Give me a uh, two. You gotta give it a little more, eh, boys? at hard line and this one over curls it goes right by and having some trouble throwing the right weight and putting the right broom down for some of these shots yeah. we missed your line Kui needs to find a way to take advantage right now he's got three or four misses in this end together I don't really like I don't I don't think he's playing it, but right here is not bad, or you yeah. think he ever plays that? I guess, I don't know. Maybe we want to play him that. Where? Just don't want to go. That's... Yeah. Even if you're, even if you're there, like a little deeper, Kevin, it's not bad, right? And if it over curls here, like you can throw an out turn. Try for there, I think, right? They can make that. I think that'd be the best. That's the like, just full eight foot tell them. Yeah, that's good. Air less, Pat. Full eight, just full eight. That quick stuff. Full eight. A lot of room. A lot of room. Way out there. Got to be past that other one, guys. Pass Mine's another. good! Clean it! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Hard, guys! Hard! Well, well. well they want to try and uh, close in the scoring zone, but still the forefoot is there for Glenn to try and draw down. He's made it interesting in this one so far. Hasn't made life easy throughout this game. It ends. But they're going to get a force and get the hammer back with a 3-2 lead if Glenn can draw a full 8 foot. A little less, Wayne. Less. Yeah. Well, it's something to get used to a little less bit too again. this year for yeah. Glenn Howard. Has played with Wayne before and had him spare last year, but with Richard Hart retiring from the game, That's a great player in Wayne Madaw, but a little different dynamic uh, than with Richard. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Well, this one should curl right up to that yellow one. Cooey realizes it, pushes it away, and it's a 3-2 game. Halfway through this quarterfinal, and Glenn Howard down one. Very fortunate just to be down one the way they're struggling in this other game. Line, we'll be back after we give a quick update other all the other games line. here in this quarterfinal game. You see two, three, four, and five all in play. And let's start over on sheet two as we'll close in on what is a lopsided win now lead for Kevin Martin and a 6-3 game. Martin with a three in the fourth end to lead that one. 
over Steve Petrick. Martin trying to go back to back and win his third time here at this event. Well, our game 3 2, 2 2, Cooey, or pardon me, Cotter and McEwen on sheet four. Those two, no surprise seeing that score back and forth. And over on sheet five, Furby was trying to tie it up. They did, they got their deuce. They're all square after three ends of play here inside the Brooks Curling Club. A look at the four of six sheets in use as we get into play. On sheet three. I'll say we're there. Yes. Good thing. Room, room, just full eight. Still, Pat, just top eight. Wait only. Could curl a bit. Yep. Yep. Going on. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're there. Whoa, whoa, right on. Good shot. Well, good freeze there from Craig Savile. Put that one right on top. Trying to set things up for their back end. And Nolan Thiessen, solid game so far for the Manitoba native. Playing out of Edmonton with this squad. Living in Edmonton. Right on it. So right down, great scrub, Simmons and Rycroft able to get it there. Right in on the lineup of stones. Three, four rocks, center line guard. Could play the town, like? play the run. Fucking. Glenn. Yeah, right, right on his. Right. Yeah. I can yank her up there as many as we can. <laughs> as many as we can up there, because they're going to drill it now. So, yeah. If, he, yeah. if you make this good, we leave two of ours in the rings. Well, there you go. You hear the comments of where they can sit, know who they're playing, and know what they want to play. You're going to see Cooey probably play the run, is what Wayne's saying. <laughs> so, make this good so that any run back leaves them two in the house. You gotta go, you gotta go. Hard. You gotta go real hard. You gotta go real hard. On the guard, on the guard. Well, and there's one that will dive towards the center, chip off of it. And still shots don't, don't know if there's a port to get through. Let's see? Kui tries to slash, crash and bang, or still put another one in with the out turn, try and come around to the top 12 foot. That would be great if we could if we could do that. I guess. I think so. It's fairly thin. Thin, yeah. Thin, yeah. Hard. Well, makes the double peel. I think they were hoping it would stick out in front also. But that one rolls it off. Cooey with the hammer here, this fifth end. Halfway, halfway.
A little tight. Maybe that's going to overcurl. That's good, I think. Just clean it. Yeah. Line's good. Guard goes out in front, and Cooey likes the way they're sitting in the ring, so we'll ask Carter Eycroft again, play the peel, get rid of that guard out in front. So gets rid of that halfway through the end. Here, N5. Howard trying to force a one-point game. Do you like free? Hard for him to sit, too, actually. <laughs> Langer. <laughs> that goes. Really warping now. He's going around. If we do it, he's. Oh, this one is going around? I think so. No, on on the free freeze. I mean. Then he's going around the whole. Wow. What else does he? What else can he? Do? What do you guys like? I guess we could do that, right? I mean, it forces him to do that. If we could ever get to him a bunch of times, you get your deuce that way, right? I like the deal, but up to you. This isn't a bad end to like this. We could blank this still too, eh? This end, so. Well, lots of thought going, knowing how they're trying to position themselves to the late stages of this game. Saying blank isn't the end of the world because you're playing a. It's a four end game now. You got a one point lead. You're spotted one. You yeah. got a blank in it yeah. by playing this peel. Wait. Bring everything in. Howard can't afford to blast because then it does bring that blank. What do you like? What's that? I can drill it. I can drill it, yeah. But I'm going to set them up with a double right back. I could make it all the way over. Well, I hear the comment of drilling it. Could go back eight foot, get around them. I didn't throw that last one very well, so. Speed's good, still out this wide. Clean it. Line's, Line's good. good. Line's good. Clean it. Guy won't, won't. Line's good. Close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Line's mint. No. Nice. Right there. Whoa, right well, they wanted to go back part. They go just a little oh. bit deeper in our second oh, shot. God. Good effort by Madaw. They just go a hair deep. So it shows the finish. Able to curl right in behind and get there. Huh? I think you do. I mean, we don't have to do anything with Well, decision right here for uh, Simmons yeah, and Cooey with that lineup of stones. You wonder if they go there. back to that red if they hit the top one. Quick update, Furby steals a single, so they have a 3-2 lead. Normal. And there, look, Maybe a steal of one in the fourth, so they're halfway through in a 3-2 Furby lead over Rob Schlender. 
over on sheet five. Back to our game here on sheet three. You gotta make sure you roll off though. We can't stay staggered eh, at all here. Control, control, cross the face. Trying to cross it, eh, Pat? Yeah, yeah. Well, this they're going to make a play, nice try and here. open up that stone back part of the rings. Here it is! Whoa! Whoa! Yep! Whoa! Yep! Whoa! Whoa! Right Whoa. off! Right off! Nolan, got to go on the shooter. Go, 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 well, go, go! Cross the face, catch the back one but not quite the right. angle. They end up losing their shoot, the stone back part of the house rather than that red stone. And it is a shot rock for Howard. Oh, sorry, you had to you make, make the double. double. Here's a look. The key one to Pretty watch thick. is that back yellow that goes He's gonna have the uh, there. He's they needed to curl a hair yeah, more. probably taking that one. What's that? Probably taking that. that one. Yeah. Then he sticks a double at three. Or just hit and, hit and stay off that one. Not bad. Roll over there, yeah. That's real thick. Really? That's real thick. Oh, yeah, I'm not making that. Look at this. Yeah, right thought you're you. rolling. If you roll to there, you're rolling right there. You got to go. Board waiter. Still gonna give us Yeah. Problem with the split, why don't we to double down. Yeah, there's three. I know. Yeah. You gotta hit one. What if I nose it? If he can ever get it. It's just a little defensive. Here, he makes a double. Hopefully, I make the double. Right. Yeah. Yes. Hit roll in. Yeah, right over. Board. So. takes off on them. They can't hold the line. Will hit. Oh. Roll into the dead zone. You just sense just the way the side by going yeah, after the throw double, and though. frustration. That's why I just don't can't get it to go. Playing, trying to the right reaction. Right, like I mean, even I, they're close to both, right? My first thought was we just saw yours with the in. Yeah. Yeah, like normal. Like that. Clean it. Whoa, 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 off! Never! No. Well, they don't want to just nose it because that leaves pretty natural double. Although it's got to, forces Glenn to be careful with to hold the shooter. If he rolls out, then there's the blank. Can't afford to overthrow it, roll out. 
as a blank doesn't do him a lot of good because then the hammer goes to Cooey in six. Even if he scores, he has a two-point lead into seven. Yeah. Little try and drill it. Pair that way. You're trying to hit a third of this one. Bob, it's been you gotta make it anyways. Got it. Out if we do it right. Whoa! Yep! Yep! Whoa! 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 Well, yep, trying yep. to play the double and whoa, whoa, whoa. stay in the rings. Got to hit him simultaneously stick around but first got to get rid of the yellow won't be able to that one stays and it is a draw for two for Cooey he didn't like his last and that left a, no a chance for the double and one that Glenn Howard's gonna make probably 99 times out of a hundred and now a draw for a deuce and a 5-2 lead for Kevin Cooey in this quarterfinal game Same out here. I'm a hair wider than most, so. Line's good. Straight draw, should be there, guys. Line's good. Well, it just has to hit the eight foot here, or Kevin Cooey, and you're gonna see him make this pretty much every single time. That one comes down to rest right on the button, and it is good for a deuce and a 5-2 lead in this one, as here is a look at the quarterfinals and how it'll work out with all the winners. Glenn Howard, Kevin Cooey, winner takes on winner of the McEwen cotter game. And then Kevin Martin is up on Steve Petrick. We'll give you an update right away. He'll play the winner of that. We'll play the winner of Furby Schlender. That will be our feature semifinal tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mountain. As we'll get a chance to get back in, take a look at all the other games going on, and give you a quick update in this quarterfinal. We'll start this time over on sheet five. And Furby Schlender was a steal in the fourth and playing in the fifth end. Furby up one still. Another one fighting through a case of the flu, it seems. The fight it struggled last night to get through the game, and it seems like it's again tonight. The same situation. Leach Slender by one. Right next to him, McEwen and Cotter. And it is a 4-2. McEwen finally strikes with a deuce in a game that was all singles, but prior to that, over on sheet four. And our game is on sheet three. And on sheet two, Martin. Gives up a deuce, but still leads 6-3 as they play in the sixth end of that game. Over on sheet two, we see Craig Saville in our feature sheet. Getting going. They're going to give us two, so take it. Okay. Top eight. Line's good. Room. No, line's pretty good right here. Clean it. Clean it if you're close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you got lots, close. lots of weight. Well, first two go in for Cooey. And Nolan Thiessen places them perfectly. And it's gonna make it tough on Howard, and especially the way that they're playing. They just are not sharp, especially Glenn himself. Normally makes those, especially that double on his last. Just a, get used to him making that most of the time. When he doesn't, it's a more surprise than anything. Yep. 
Let me get a go. Not too much. Pretty good. Pretty straight here. Whoa! Yep! Clean! Easy, 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 easy. Well, Kui gets into a peel game here in the sixth end. Just get rid of the corners. Solid second in Carter Rycroft. Thanks everyone for tuning in here. Kui Howard, wherever you are in the world watching live in the morning at night. Glenn Howard leading, trailing Kevin Cooey, 5-2. A little tight. Got to go a bit. Whoa. Rope. Not heavy. Rope. Hey, Wayne's good. Wayne's good. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> good throw, Brent. Well, a nice come around by Brent Lang and Carter Rycroft now yep. play the PO. Yes! Again, just get rid of the guard. Got a goal! Got a three point lead in this sixth end. Try and get rid of the front. Try and roll it to the center now. It's not going to roll out of play. You know, guard their own. But. Any guards well, we'll on front help Glenn Howard in this situation. Why can they never roll for a corner guard? Try again. Yeah. yeah. Close. Lots. Wait. Whoa. 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 Heavy. Real heavy. Real heavy. Uh, yeah, banging around. Well, I wanted to try and get close to nose on that. Overthrown a hair. Moves them around. Opens up the button. Room for them to get in. Trying to get a deuce in this three-point game. Kui leading. Throw it up. Normal up. Straight roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Never. Whoa! Never, never, never. Oh, oh, let's get this. Oh, just a little roll towards the center. Gets rid of that Howard Stone on the edge of the 12 foot. Len has a guard to try and use. See if he can try and move those stones around. Just manipulate them to try and generate two. Right? That's what I'm thinking. Something dangerous. What about the one in the forefoot? This one? Yeah. How do you get it? If you do get it, you're rolling out. You have to roll. Okay, well, just draw and freeze to it then. Yeah, just freeze to it. Straight freeze to it. Yeah. That's fine. Right there. Then he just hits that. Then we freeze to it. <laughs> All right. Right now, if I freeze, 
I don't think we want it yet. You don't like that, eh? No. Too early. Okay. Straight freeze that thing. Wait on. Look, feels there. Oh, room. Wait only. Wait only. Whoa, whoa, it's curling. Well, trying to just draw down to it. This one's going to bump it just a little bit. But because of the backing, no double on those reds. Could hit the wide one, try and roll and bump that red out. Cooey with a three-point lead might elect to just well, smash even away. Well, if it spins a bit. Thin, but I mean, what else? What do you think? You think this will go? It should spin up off everything, eh? Well, I mean, what if you do this? I'm not sure that really helps us. Brady might freeze in there. If you roll in, it's no good either, is it? That's not not that old, but it's well, this is you can get those any all those any time, right? Yeah. Could, but I guess not too much bad can happen. It's it's hard to jam anything. Yeah, that, the, only, the only real jam is this. That would be the best. There's no doubt about it, right? Three. We still got three rocks to go after, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. No, we only two. No, two. If I make some noise there. Yeah. If I what if if I miss, they're playing what? What are they doing? If we miss that. If you just peel everything? Yeah. Well, I think they'll do. I mean, we should have a double. I don't mind that call. Like, this is touch and go, eh? I did, I, no, and it, what, if you if it doesn't go... It's real bad. Is this. I like that you with the intern. Go with this, I right? think so. It's hard to jam everything. Just a hair, yeah. This is best, the one to this one. Can you see the broom? Well, long discussion. They elect to go with the guard, run it in. Yep. Here, Kevin say, we are up three. Oh. Roll the shooter, it, Carter. Shooter. Get anything in the rings, and they'll get oh. the red. So pick that one clean. They also get rid of the guard. Knows that one? I think so. Right? Yep. That one stays dead jammed. Yep. Worm. Just Worm. normal. Okay. Just normal. Right? No. Oh, it's okay. How do we close that thing? <laughs> well, he throws the peel and kills that redstone, able to get rid of it. The nice Let thing that they're opening better. it up, this. He's got make the double, no make double. the triple possibly oh. for Madaw. double for sure. Normal? Yeah. Right. Knows it, get a couple of those yellows moving. Yep, yep! Hard! Whoa, whoa! Yep, yep, yep! 
Whoa, whoa! Well, try and get them all. Jam the one. Oh, and rolls the oh, other one oh. out to the side. Just it been a frustrating game altogether for Howard. That one doesn't spin it out. Doesn't get rid of two. Yeah. Now just hit and roll in front. Close in the rings on Howard. With some weight, eh? So they're not. Lower, yeah, like. Got to throw a uh, heavy because that jam possibility on the back. No, no, I, I like normal. Normal, sure. Yeah. Yeah. right yep. in front so it takes away the angle on that one for any sort of tap because of the little bit of a change yeah, of two options a stagger shots don't to Kui. I still like the tap freezes the shot a hair across face right on the nose you got to get shot well, he's gonna guard it if he's, he's gonna guard it right you can't just hit it, he'll have a three foot double. You can hit it. Well, I couldn't, if I hammer it, will it squirt over here? No, it's not going anywhere. No, it's not going anywhere. It might go this way. You can roll that way with your shooter. Worst part is I'm saying if you just tap it for a shot, he's throwing a guard. Yeah. Right, and then he's, how do you get your two? Or, or he freezes. He could freeze one in here. No. If we go there, he comes in on no, top. That's the only way you get three. You're like, Drop it. That's not hideous. You'll have two turns on your last one or something, right? You might have a sniffer. If he if he guards, if you if you make it. What would you do if you just say he throws on that one there? What He can just pick that out. Glenn's gotta make the double. And we have a nose. Nose double. Yeah. Or he throws a guard. And Glenn's got well, you can't he throws a guard. He guards it perfect. Glenn's got to make this and stay in the forefoot for two, which is really hard. I think we got to. I think we got to get shot here. Okay, so I think we got to get shot. Okay, here. so you got two options. Yeah. If you if you play this, he guards. Yeah. Yeah. And but even even if he doesn't throw, I I got. Well, well I guess it's a nose hit. It's a nose hit. But he just guards that anywhere, and you're not happy, right? My yeah. And then what? If you put it right there, you definitely have a shot for two. True? Yeah, because you can, that's you can true. come off it. That's probably what he'll play. Yeah, he'll play hit and roll in. You should have some sort of It's not bad. But it has to be first. Yeah. <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, he ever hit. Not just that. Okay, if you guys don't think you should have shot, you shot. Well, there's two ways you can get shot, right? You can, you can just try and tap it. Right? Or you can hammer it. Leave that a little cockeyed. Right? That, well, yeah. Or you, or you're just playing. You don't even have to hit. Just hit and roll over here somewhere. Right? With just normal, just make the hit and roll. If I hit that hard in the nose, where's the five going? It's going right on. Dead on. Dead on. Dead on to it. What do you think, boys? <laughs> or yours. I, I kind of like this because well, you're not what Glenn wants to get out of this is shot stone and right blasting okay, it. I don't here. know if that's the best. You probably have a double back for Cooey. We can put it here easier than where we can hit and roll. To True. But if you see the roll, then I'm fine with that. If you don't like the draw, I don't mind that. I don't mind the shot. Okay, let's do that. Okay, you know how to get right here. A little wider, yeah. Where are you trying to go? Just above the. Just yeah. above the tee. Oh. Okay. Well, this is a, a setup shot. Playing away from it. Wayne uh, sort of was, his broom's right there. The Glenn said want to get shot, but he's going to draw to the side. Cooey has to either 
I think this... Uh, <laughs> Blast the top ones or roll over to the side. Uh, or hit the side one. And he'll probably go after that one. Probably just peel it out. Then Glenn will have a chance to play uh, right down the center. And play this to try and get his deuce. But this one has to count that yellow rock back 12 foot. Real close, guys. Right here. Just about T line. Just touch the T. It's got to be T line. It's got to be T. Holy fuck. Heart. Go. Just got to be careful. They can't. Go, 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 go. Leave a double go, go, on go, that go, one. Go, 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 go. Four foot. Go, 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 go. Like that, because now Good sweet, boys. there's a chance they could go flat, try and make that double if you're Kevin Cooey. Big scrub. They had to be a little bit deeper. Kevin, play that. Just a little roll in. What does he leave? Where can he go? No. Double is very flat. Even if you punch it out to the eight foot, it's pretty good. You can touch it. If you touch it and move it and sit there, it's really good, eh? Depends how far you move that. If you move it enough, it's really good. Yeah, for for one. The other thing. I mean, we could we could guard this still. I mean, this isn't an easy in off for him either, right? The only thing is he might have this, eh? What they're looking at was trying rolls. to come down it, pretty flat because you got to go straight across. Even if you punch that stone just well, out. You can never let him. You, you sure can't about give this him the area. nose of that. It does the job. Even if you punch it that far, it works. But ideally, you'd like to get it right out of the rings. I don't think he's playing. Why? What? You're guarding this one. What are you guarding over? Are you guarding his path or two? He's not, he's not playing that. He's playing off that before. He's, he's off playing off that first, before he plays that tap. Oh, yeah, I would. Well, what do you guys like? This is... There, you're... It's, it's tough. It's pretty tough. It's just past today. Eh? The roll in is, mind you, even if I just roll, the, if we're guarding, we're guarding this rock straight. You can't ever miss Carter and give him a nose hit for three. I don't think he's playing this shot anyways, but. If he makes, if he makes this for two, good shot. You got your two, right? Whatever you like, Kev. I'm okay with either. Well, 5-2 here in our game, sixth end. Give you a look around the other games going on. We do have one final to report, but stick with us. At the conclusion of the end, we'll take a look at those scores. How much has he got to hit of this to stick it? It's, re it's real thin. It's, uh, I don't know. Quarter rock is too thick. Yeah, he can uh, make it off for yeah, a I think he's playing it soft. It's tough. It's a tough shot. It's Long discussion, but I, I thought that double, maybe they're worried about the jam on that double. And looks like going to go in. Go and throw the, the guard to protect this one. The ice looks good, Nolan, for where you've been throwing it. I gotta get to center line. I'm thinking close to a three. Like so that. throw the center line guard. Figure out what would Glenn have after that. Right now, shots don't for Cooey. The only thing, play the guard. Need to make it protected. Otherwise, you leave a chance for two or three. Clean it! 
Easy. Clean it. Don't let it pick. Lines ahead tight. No, 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 no. Don't switch, guys. Do not oh, switch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh. No. Stay with it, Carter. Clean it. No. No. Whoa. It's over curling. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Well, they split center and might have left a little bit of that Yellowstone open enough to maybe make a play. A Thought that might have overcurled on them. We'll see in Glenn's opinion if right, it did. Was perfect, almost perfect line for that one. The, the freeze, the, the freeze was here, right? And your rock stop. It's almost identical throw. Yep, and that's right where you threw it. Well, Glenn Howard, last rock, and he's going in turn to try and get down and tap that one back. Clean. Clean it. How's the weight? Rim, whoa, whoa, close, close. Whoa, man, off, off if you're heavy. Yep, yep. Oh. Well, and that one, did that one jump on Glenn in frustration there as it's going to be on the guard and it'll be another point for Cooey stolen on the pick and it is a 6-2 Cooey lead now as we are through six ends of play as we finish that we'll take a look around all the other games going on we have one final and that over on sheet two Kevin Martin wins was up 6-3 and rocks down at the home end didn't finish the sixth end so no score put up there 6-3 there and a Kevin Martin win, so he's into the semifinals, and he will be in our feature game tomorrow at 10 a.m. We'll await for his opponent, Howard, trailing 6-3 as well now, playing 7, and Cotter gets the deuce in 6, so all square. McEwen with the hammer in 7, seal that one plays out down the stretch, and 3-3, Schlender gets 1 in 5, as they play in 6 there. We'll get back to our game here, and it is 6-2. to two. Cooey leading Howard after that steal. And Glenn Howard frustrating. It was a pick again. Had a couple of those in this one. So 7th then, 6-2 the score. Go guys, you gotta go. You gotta go hard, 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 hard. Keep going, 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 keep going. Keep going. Skipper. Yeah. Yep. Gotta go. Hard. Yeah, just stop, stop it, guys. Stop, stop, it. stop it. Well, they just pulled that one off. They end up throwing that one to try and tick it over. They're throwing big weight to try and play the tick. They're going to get a bunch of it, so they just stop it. Yeah, this way? Right, yeah. What about round eight? He's just ripping them, right? Not going to peel, so we got to get two in behind that yellow one. <laughs> we got to get four behind that yellow one. Well, I was thinking two, and then Glenn draws for three. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of line, it's way out there, isn't it? <laughs> so another steal by Cooey and that one. Glenn had a tough shot, had the intern tap. <laughs> Howard go. trying to get that one in behind, try and get a couple buried, keep them around. Kui now can go out and peel that one.
Okay. Well, that one will just touch it over, so a mistake, and there's a break for Howard. Now, Shit. try and use, <laughs> so it touches Shit. it over just a hair, but the enough that they can push that yellow onto the red. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna change pictures here. <laughs> well, I hear the talk. They're just trying to figure out some stones. They've had some matching issues trying to get them the same couple that have picked. And here, seventh end, and we'll keep a close eye. Tie game next to us uh, on sheet four. That's McEwen and Cotter. They battle it out in the eighth end. It is McEwen with the hammer over there. So, <laughs> trying to see if we can get the last. Uh, couple rocks of that game for you to update you. Martin winning already. He's waiting the winner of Schlender and Furby. They are tied playing the sixth end. Furby with the hammer over there. <laughs> and just to confirm, it was a 9-3 victory for everyone out there. Kevin Martin Take defeating out. Steve Petrick. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. 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 Well, trying to play the double peel. And mistake on his first, but Carter Eycroft makes up for that one. Getting rid of those two guards. All makes it look easy. It's like he played that this tick of his first just to play the double guard, peel on his second. Howard just trying to get themselves a deuce, get within two, trying to come home. Trailing 6 2. They know it'll be tough to come back. <laughs> So center line guard goes back out in front for Brent Lang. Halfway through end seven. Trying to play the peel and they'll avoid the jam. try and give themselves a chance for two or three. Yeah. That one goes back. It's still shot rock that one top eight foot. Just one guard out it. front. They try yep. and use. Pick the one behind cover. If you get the second one, it's a bonus. catch something of it we'll catch it thin and make the double just get by the guard and they will get rid of both of them so just one Howard might yep. have something going the double made 
Pat Simmons able to make that one. Gets by. Catch this one just thin enough in order to stick it behind their own top eight foot. Wayne Madaw trying to hook this one in behind. Trying to get something buried. So they get one in behind and it close of who is second shot, because that could be whether they have to play at it or not. And either you can draw down, tap it. Can't really hurt ourselves. Can't hurt ourselves running it. No. Really, right? I mean that one will always be open. No, make her cuff. Well, going to run this one back. Let's there take a look. It looks like that redstone is second shot, and that would be why. Cooey going after it, playing the straight back. You'll see this one probably go right through Pat's legs, trying to run this one onto that redstone in the rings. Whoa! Yep! Yeah. Whoa! Yep! Yeah. Whoa! Yes! Well, real close, straight back, and sticks it to lie three. Cooey has got it going here tonight as they lead 6-2 and lie three in this seventh end of play. I think you only shot us here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm working in the other officer just trying to line it up. But. Well, that's what Howard's facing, a lot okay. of that, as that one will end up going straight back and sticks it, lies three. Yeah, around try and freeze to the back one. Glenn needs a two to keep themselves in this Back game. Eight. They're hoping to try and score three. Back eight. Thought they had something Full going. Lying Full third, eight. second and third, but oh. Oh. No. Full eight. Yep. able to now take it right to the back one. Trying to freeze it on so that, shot, that straight back isn't available. And Glenn able to put it on the corner, and it is shot stone back eight foot. So another straight back. This one a little bit closer for Cooey. 6-2. Glenn makes a great freeze with his. Cooey, though, has an opening to get rid of it. Whoa. This one yep. Yep. would help to try and clinch a spot whoa, in the semifinals. Whoa. Yes! Yes! Well, straight back. Pick it out. And there it goes to the remain line three. And handshakes come out. That's enough for Glenn Howard. Uh, they concede this one as it is a victory for Kevin Cooey. They are on to the semifinals as they knock off Glenn Howard, a two-time champion here. It'll go down 6-2 final, and it is a victory. Kevin Cooey moves into the semifinals with the win. Don't have to finish the seventh end. Big win for them as we'll get you set up to try and finish the end. McEwen Cotter going on on sheet four. They are down to the final few stones. We will get you over this. McEwen and Cotter. Yellow stones in this one. Belong to Mike McEwen. They lie one. McEwen with the hammer.
So 4-4 four, four the score in this one. And we're down to the final few stones. They're into skip stones now. You see it. Jim Cotter down to throw his. This the eighth end. Trying to play a hit and roll quietly. Trying to maybe a little tap. Well, trying to come down. Get a little rub off of it. And over curls on them. They had to hold it a little more. Is it still shot stone for McEwen? So 4-4 four, four the score. McEwen has the hammer and sits with one on the button. Get rid of the guard. They talked about drawing in. So we know two of the semi-finalists. Kevin Cooey knocks off the two-time champion Glenn Howard. The reigning champion Kevin Martin moves into the quarters. Winner of this one McEwen Cotter goes to the semis against Kevin Cooey. As they decide, B.J. Newfeld, Mike McEwen, go peel that centerline guard. This McEwen team with a win last week overtook Kevin Martin as the number one ranked team in the world. A solid season. Their last 14 events, making it to 10 finals. Just haven't been able to get over that hump and get to a briar and win their province. Losing the last two years to Jeff Stoughton. Of course, last year, Stoughton going on to win the Briar and the World Championship. So just two games out on the ice. Furby leading by one over Rob Schlender as they play in the seventh end of that game over on sheet five. Well, they talked about peeling that front. They decide best bet to try and draw in, play a little tap and roll underneath. And a 4-4 four, four game. Mike McEwen doing some extra cleaning on this one. That wasn't important. We saw a couple picks in our feature game, Cooey and Howard. And Cooey wins that one. Cooey win could set a uh, McEwen win could set up a rematch of the final from Portage La Prairie last weekend. McEwen thought about ripping their own guard out in front, but says, "You know what? Let's come in, play a little tap, try and win it basically on this shot right now." Knowing Jim Cotter's ability uh, to make that last shot, not give him the opportunity, beat him to the punch and get in there. Well, come in top of the four foot. They'll bite it. There's a chance, though, with that one, I think, over curled for Mike. He wanted to be maybe a little tap on his own. Jim could make a little hit and roll, a little tap, roll to the top of the button. The only thing, it's either a pick.
Well, I think you got to try and move it back, try and roll underneath. Here, try and play a little flip. Delicate finesse shot. And that make it tough on McEwen. If he can roll just underneath, it'd be a tough pick for Mike. Try and win the game. Well, Cotter coming out of the C event. Had to just today defeat Marco Usi Pavel Niemi. Then John Rennie. Now trying to defeat Mike McEwen. And having to steal in this eighth end 4-4 four, four tie. A tight fought game all the way. Well, got to make sure they get down to it. Try to play that little hit and roll on it almost the entire way. Hit, got to sit for shot. They'll roll right underneath and in behind. So there's the forefoot. There's the button. McEwen needs to hit it to win the game and move into the semifinal. So they'll do a little extra cleaning on this one by the front end to try and pick up a victory. Here, this... Winner moves on and gets Mike McEwen. So, final stone. Last rock, Mike McEwen. Trying to come up with a piece of the button to continue on here at the Cactus Pheasant Classic. Won his first three games, qualified out of the A side. And Wozniak, Newfeld watching on. And needs a piece of the button. Has to dig in, has to stop quickly. As this one stops right on the side of the button. McEwen does it and picks up the victory. McEwen moves into the semifinal and will take on Kevin Cooey in their semifinal tomorrow. So that wraps up the quarterfinals on three and four. Martin victorious, McEwen victorious, Cooey victorious. Furby Schlender still battling over on sheet five. Of course, we'll have more coverage for you tomorrow as... A look at the playoff bracket. The way it sits, McEwen picks up the victory. As here's a look at the bracket so far. Furby Schlender still battling it out in the seventh end of that one. Martin, McEwen, Cooey in the semis. McEwen, Cooey in our... Will be in one. Martin awaits the winner, Furby Schlender. And that will be our feature game tomorrow. 10 a.m. Mountain here from the Cactus Pheasant. And we will get you over a little bit off our sheets. We'll try and pop over and give you a little bit of extra. Pardon the angles on this one. Rob Schlender. This is Schlender's First, I believe, of the seventh end. And you see just that one stone in the rings. As we'll hit and roll. Hang around just back 12 foot, it looks like. So with that one there, and you see rolling to the back of the 12 foot. Ned will go down, I believe. I was wrong, that was Rob Schlender's first. This is Nedwin's first. Or pardon me, last here in the seventh end. It's a one point lead for Furby. So we get our bearing set, jumping from sheet to sheet. This is the last game out on the ice. So Nedwin, who's been... Battling a bit of the flu bug the last day. Has had all day here to recover. Last night struggled after the game. 
trying to draw behind with that one sticking around up one playing seven without the hammer says you know what let's draw around if we miss it if he's able to get at it then we're one down playing eight with the hammer an aggressive call trying to bury it force the issue force Schlender to take one and that one looks pretty good in behind don't know if Schlender is going to have an opportunity to go and after it and get his two with that biter in the back part of the 12 foot Well, looking at how much is available here, we'll see that we'll pan down to the far end and Schlender making the decision how much is available. So I'm looking at Brendan Melnick. If Melnick was telling him, there's not enough, you should just draw for your single and tie this game up. You see 4-3, the score, they play the seventh end. Schlender with the hammer. That one looks overburied behind that guard. Well, long discussion. Kevin Park, Rob Schlender, how they go about it. Furby took the chance with Nedwins and made sense with that hit sticking around back 12 foot. Wasn't allow, going to allow Schlender to blank the end and have hammered down one playing eight. So get him behind. And I think team meeting now what they want to do, look at it. Schlender heading down. Talk with Chris Lamishko and Darcy Hafso's front end. Whether to go after it. Both of these B qualifiers, Schlender coming out of his, losing an A qualifier to Mike McEwen. Defeated Steve Petrick to qualify on the B side. And here, looks like he's going to draw for one. I don't think he has the option to try and go for two right now. He's got to try and draw in. Long discussion here. Big shot, key shot of the game of what they have to play to try and get in there and get that key shot. Well... Can only imagine thinking you want to try and go for your two, but it's over buried. Give up a steal, you're down two. If it was tied, it might be a different story going after it. You might think about doing that, and I think I just saw Rob say, draw for one, and not much option the way it's sitting. So last rock here for Rob Schlender. After Cooey wins 6-2 over Glenn Howard. A one-point victory for Mike McEwen. He had to draw the lid for a victory. Martin won 9-3. This one, a one-point game. And needs to get this into the eight-foot. Schlender will do just that. And once again, all square. Schlender and Furby, 4-4. Not only big points to get into and money to get into the semi, but Alberta Tour points, which allow them to help qualify for Provincials. So that's the situation. 4-4. Four, four. We'll stick with you here to give you this final end of play. Pardon the angles a little bit off. As we look at the playoff scenario, the way it sits. Martin won 9-3, as I said. So they're in the semis. They'll take on the winner of this one. As... Martin will await the winner. Martin, again, I don't know if he's ever lost a game other than a final here at this event. McEwen defeated Cotter in their game.
by a draw to the button by Mike and Kevin Cooey takes advantage of a, a subpar Glenn Howard for some to win that one. So McEwen Cooey, Martin, and the winner of our game now. Here's a look at our game tomorrow in the semis. We'll find out who Martin will play as we'll get back to it. Darcy Hafso to get us started in this eighth end. So eighth end, and you see the tick shots. We'll see Brendan Melnick tried, was out throwing earlier with Ted Appleman, just the two of them because Dave Sick, Randy took it easy today, didn't come out and practice. Melnick working on just making sure he's right up the broom with Ted, getting feedback. And here, trying the tick shot, touch that one over, can't move it out of play, and there's a great shot. One tick made by Brennan Melnick that'll help you win a game. Again, got the effort from Neto and able to fight through. Battling the flu, been a few players. No, uh, Ben Hebert, Mark Kennedy battling a little bit with some illness. So we play the eighth end. Luke Coley here with you. Cactus Pheasant Classic. Quarterfinals Saturday evening in Brooks, Alberta. See Kevin Park, he's filling in here for the Schlender team regularly. Don Bartlett with this foursome. Trying to put that center line guard after the great tick on Melnick's first. They'll try it again. As Furby puts the broom down, going to go the other turn now. Go with the intern, try and tick it the other way. We'll have the semifinal and final for you tomorrow, starting 10 o'clock Mountain Time in the morning for the semifinal. Martin against the winner of this one. As they'll touch that one over this time again, the shooter rolls out. So Brendan Melnick, perfect with his two ticks. Well, going to have to try and put that center line guard out in front. And just have one out in front. Because of the ticks, the only thing with those ticks... Might get in the way of the draw pass to get to the forefoot. That's what Nedouin wants here in this eighth end. Well, thought they were put in the center. They end up trying to draw in behind that just off center line guard. Get one in early, knowing Furby will peel. Probably see that one in the rings. And Appleman will go right after it. Again, eighth end of play. Little extra coverage after Cooey. Victorious in our feature game over Glenn Howard. Kevin Martin was the first off the ice with a victory over Steve Petrick. And Mike McEwen drew the lid to defeat. Jim Cotter in this quarterfinal draw. And Ted Appleman makes the hit, rolls it away. Sits top four foot to lie one. And again, we'll try and draw him behind. Ignore that one, Chris Lamishko. Try and get in behind. Try 
Trying to draw, get this one buried. As you see that stone in the forefoot, that'll go deep. Won't be shot stone, I might see the guard out in front, go away. Get rid of that one. So the peel for Ted Appleman. Well, that's four perfect shots by the front end team Furby so far in this eighth end. That's the situation in the house. One stone way out in front to the wide side, guarding the 12 foot. It is one yellow stone. Top of the four, belonging to team Furby. Kevin Park, first of third stones. See if they try and put a center line guard up. Going to need a miss out of Furby. And third, third rocks or another one at the back end. Trying to get back in this one. So the guard goes out in front. See if they peel it with the out turn. Get rid of the center line stone, because right now, just need to try and get the forefoot. The key shots, really, look back to lead stones. A lot of people overlook them, but play the peel. Uh, you see the two ticks? Push them over and now allow those peels on the front. And look at the scenario they're in. Furry plays the peel, gets rid of them. Well, there's another peel, gets the center line open. Both teams in the money, but chance to give themselves an opportunity for the $22,000 first place payout. They'll take on the defending champion, whoever is able to score here in this eighth end. The other three games are over already. Well, trying to put that one out in front again. Need a miss as Park puts that one. Another peel coming up from Furby. And there it goes. Another one disappears. So, skip stones and now... Up to Schlender to try and find a way in order to get rid of that one. Uh, find a way to get a miss out of Nedwin on his two stones. Well, they could f try and corner freeze, see what they do. You could throw one more guard. Nedwin might go around and just get there first. Need to have something on your last. So even that little tab gives them the opportunity. Uh, Furby, Nedwin picks it out. He can freeze on his last. So I'm not sure if I saw that little tap or just the corner freeze of it. 
Rob Schlender, his first of skip stones in this eighth end. Forced to take one in that seventh after Nedwin made a great come around to force the issue. Long discussion about it. They decided to go for just getting a one to tie up the game. This one trying to get it to the corner of it right in front. And they will sit it just a little tap. Pretty good. Now the question is, what do you have? Furby and Nedwin, do you try and blast that out, open it up? Get the four foot wide open. There is that red kicker in the back. Well, you could try and play a little tap yourself. You could try and blast them out, lose both of them. There are no center line guards, so you're going to have an open look at this point. Well, team discussion and how they want to go about it. Three stones remaining in this game to determine if it round out the semifinal four. It is Team Furby lying shot stone at the moment, so that's their advantage. Whether they go and make a play at it. Well, Broom goes down. Looks like draw in front was uh, consensus. You know your top 12. They're going to tighten it up. The ice just a hair. And that looks like maybe even just in front of it. Lots of different options that could be with that broom, so we'll find out momentarily. Nedwin and his first. David Nedwin and his first into fourth stones of this eighth end. Lie one, and they're going to make it tough on Schlender. Come right in. Top eight foot, even just to the corner of that red stone. And they wanted to leave it so that they do have the possibility for a straight back if Schlender is able to hook one around. And that's basically, I think, his best. He's got to try and draw to the button, get in behind, and be buried. I don't know if you can try and play the red, yellow, and kick it underneath. Well, we'll see some discussion now because an important shot. Need to get shot stone or it's over without Nedwin throwing his last. 
And that was part of the reason why they threw the guard. Left himself an out with the last. And at the same time, said, why don't we try and win it with our first rather than bringing a last rock into play. Schlender looking at playing that yellow onto the red. And spelling both the yellows out, and that's what he's going to play. A hit here. I thought he could try and draw around. Maybe leave a sliver of it open. Try and get Nedouin into playing that yellow straight back. Rob Schlender. Solid run. Just one loss so far in this event. That coming in an A qualifier. A qualifier game. They lost to Mike McEwen. McEwen is into the semifinals and Schlender needs to get shot or that puts Furby right in without their last. On it right out of the hand here. Rob Schlender and go yellow will kick it out. Do they lie shot? They will push it out far enough and they'll lie three. So Nedouin needs the forefoot for the win. Set it up with that last. The big weight shot by Schlender kicks it out. And this will mean Nedouin hit the forefoot and a spot in the semifinals. Reminder, two games for you tomorrow as we wrap up the fifth edition of the Cactus Pheasant Classic. Winner of this takes on Kevin Martin in our feature game tomorrow, 10 Mountain. Will it be another Martin Furby battle? Nedouin needs the forefoot to make that happen. Well, a different Furby front end. Melnick and Appleman need to hit the forefoot with this one. And just guiding this one in now as they need to hit the forefoot as it will be good. Furby is good. They get it right to the button. Nedwin and Furby able to hold off a strong charging Rob Schlender team as it is a final. Randy Furby defeats Rob Schlender and moves in to the semifinals as that sets up a great semifinal here. As we'll have that for you tomorrow. But first, let's look at the playoff bracket after tonight's quarterfinals. Martin against Furby. McEwen against Cooey. And we'll have live coverage. Martin versus Randy Furby tomorrow in our feature game. As we... Martin against Furby live 10 a.m. Mountain. So tune in tomorrow for coverage. Semifinals here the 2011 Cactus Pheasant Classic.